Good morning, everybody. It is me, Dirage, and well forecast, guys. And so welcome back to the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. I'm actually still full from all the food. I had like three or four plates, guys. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy your Thanksgiving. Uh, it went pretty fast. I'm kind of sad because it was our last of the decade. But you just gotta keep on moving forward. But guys, uh, I am actually posting a bit early, uh, because the the, the, the new GFS run and European run. Uh, are now finished loading and all that, or finished loading for what I need of uh, the show. So th there's major new updates on the National Web Search. We have thousands of people under windstorm warnings and blizzard warnings due to the. And yeah, Ezekiel is a is a major, massive bomb cyclone, which means the low pressure system has dropped more than about around 20 millibars in the 20. It's gonna drop more than 20 millibars within a 24 hour period. So that's why it's, it's gonna be such a massive storm because it's gonna drop millibars. Again, think about it when it drops millibars, a hurricane gets a lot bigger. So so the storm, it's gonna be a major blizzard. We're gonna have a huge threat, and I have many of these. I have many of my viewers that are gonna get affected from this all the way from the west. To to the northeast it can bring in a first snowfall for many of the years in the northeast including boston new york city maybe even philadelphia too so we're gonna have huge threats throughout a cross-country bomb cyclone so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you are new to my channel be sure to hit the subscribe button i've actually been getting quite a few more viewers the past couple of days so it means a lot to me but yeah without further ado let's get in this video Alright guys, so we're going to be looking at the National Web Search, and this actually has a huge new update based on the last time I posted yesterday in the afternoon. So here is this massive, uh, these are all I've, oh my god, oh my epic pen can work. So these are all on Ezekiel, which is quite impressive how many advisors, like there's almost the whole western United States is under advisories due to Ezekiel, even the rain. So yeah, we have all this right here. We actually had a, a huge new update. So we actually now have blizzard warnings now for Duluth, Minnesota, which will keep bringing a lot of snow throughout many areas in the northern Midwest with blizzard conditions, just like Dorothy brought in those areas. Now we also have widespread blizzard warnings for areas in northern, uh, northern Nebraska. We have a lot for western South Dakota and also northeastern Wyoming. This is where we could be seeing the worst amount of snow so most likely the low pressure system will just be below this, which will cause huge threats. And we also have a blizzard warning just north of Cheyenne. So we also do have a couple watches still in effect now uh, for areas in the Sierra Mountains. But the Sierra Mountains isn't really a big threat right now. It's more of this. Or actually, no, I just covered the Sierra Mountains. This is kind of more of the big threat right here to come the future. We still have blizzard warnings now. Or sorry, we have windstorm warnings for Flagstaff and Prescott. We have Salt Lake City and Logan, Utah. Utah. We have Cheyenne. We have areas um, to Billings, Montana. We have Bismarck. We have uh, we have areas into North Central Minnesota. We have Eau Claire. All these areas still in woodstorm warnings. We have millions of people out here in these woodstorm warnings. We also do have watches in effect for areas near Green Bay, Wisconsin, and Marquette. And we also do have a couple advisories for areas near Omaha, uh, not far from Lincoln, uh, Western Iowa, Southwestern Minnesota. And yeah, we have in um, Sioux Falls, but yeah, we have huge updates on this National Weather is here. We have plenty of blizzard warnings due to this huge, massive bomb cyclone, which says the first of the year, uh, technically. So yeah, we're gonna be basically going out here into the European uh radar here to see exactly what the new update was from last night, which means the GFS and European are all uh, this is all new. This is all new. This was not like this yesterday, so it's a huge new update. We have, it, it's just, let's just keep on going. I, I just, I just can't keep on saying this is a huge new update. Um, but yeah, by, uh, by today, we are seeing blizzard conditions throughout areas in Flagstaff. Again, it's going to be quite heavy snow throughout these areas in the highest elevations of Arizona. We're also going to be seeing the very heavy snow, possibly for northeastern Utah and southwestern uh southwestern wyoming we are going to be seeing this little wave right here from this bomb cyclone that will bring us snow a bit ahead of time throughout many of these areas into billings montana and bozeman billings will be seeing their basically yeah as you can say their heaviest snowfall of the year uh because usually the snowfall we saw this year in montana was in areas near bozeman and helen on the opposite side but the next 36 hours we're going to be seeing very very a widespread heavy snow we'll have this other section right here which is actually showing the bomb cyclone the low pressure system will most likely be in between here 
and it's kind of like rotating like this so that's why it will be bringing very heavy snow throughout a long period of time for the same areas we'll be seeing very heavy snow throughout areas near uh, the border of uh, colorado and utah especially northeastern utah we'll be getting very heavy snow by this time on saturday or tomorrow we'll also be seeing again this heavier snow out here through billings montana starting to have that snow for bozeman and helena as we get now to later on to Saturday, this is when we have the worst of this bomb cyclone. As you can tell, the low pressure system is right here. Uh, we're going to be seeing incredibly heavy snow. We're going to have blizzard conditions throughout many areas in South Dakota. We're going to have blizzard conditions for Bismarck and out there throughout western Minnesota. We will also see this light to, or moderate to heavy snow throughout many uh, throughout western Wyoming, or sorry, eastern Wyoming and Montana. By Sunday, it does does it does not calm down. It actually does bring more blizzard conditions throughout these areas near Eau Claire and Duluth. That is where we have that blizzard warning and that new blizzard warning for Duluth, which is far away from the other blizzard warnings, which kind of tells you that it's really going to be heavy uh, out here. We're going to be seeing, again, huge snowfall threats for northeastern North Dakota. We'll have that snow kind of dipping down a little bit with the slow pressure system. That will start to bring that snow for areas until, uh, until um, Nebraska as we get into Sunday this is when it becomes a major threat throughout many years in the Northeast and Midwest we'll have that snow now for Des Moines we can have snow for Green Bay Wisconsin we will have blizzard conditions for areas near Lansing and Marquette in northern Michigan we'll have now snow that comes from the lake effect snow throughout this system that can bring our first snow throughout areas in the northern New Jersey New York City can be seeing their first snowfall today or this year we'll be seeing state college and Allentown uh, state college can see incredibly heavy snow state college on the other hand we'll see an ice mix before uh, as we get now later into Tuesday or no, later into Monday day the Monday night we'll be seeing this very heavy snow throughout areas uh, in the east or the eastern coast of areas of areas in Rhode Island and in Connecticut will have huge, just incredibly heavy snow, like a kind of like a nor'easter, as you can say. And we'll have again Albany, New York City, Concord, uh, Vermont, uh, and Burlington will all be seeing incredibly heavy snow. The thing about this system is it does not leave on Monday, it actually sticks around on Tuesday, kind of okay. That low pressure is kind of hanging out right there. This can bring some snow again, more snow for Boston, more snow for New York City, New Brunswick. Uh, Hartford, Connecticut, more snow throughout these areas. Uh, it looks like Allentown will see not that much more, uh, not as much snow as the areas into central Pennsylvania as we'll get an ice mix most of the time. And then we'll, by Tuesday afternoon, we'll kind of see the leave away uh, into the Nova Scotia area. Now as we get, here's the new GFS run. As we get now into the next 12 hours, or actually 18 hours, this is when we see it become a huge threat again. Here you have the slow pressure system at 991 millibars. It actually was higher, like at 998. So this is still dropping as we speak. Again, we're going to have a snow from Madison, Wisconsin, Rochester, a couple hours before it should get some snow which will cause a major more make way more accumulation again this is where we'll have to watch out for the blizzard conditions out here through eastern wyoming and western south dakota and nebraska this is where we really have to watch out for the blizzard conditions here it is this is by saturday we're gonna be seeing incredibly heavy snow throughout the areas of western south dakota while wow, that snow entering duluth eau claire areas um into the Twin Cities, we'll have very heavy snow throughout areas in south, uh, southeastern uh, areas into the North Dakota area. We'll have that snow picking up for western, uh, western. Um, I always want to say western Lincoln, but western Nebraska. As we get now into Sunday, this is when it becomes a bit more of a threat. That's when we have that ice and snow mix entering the areas of Pittsburgh. That's where we could have our many first snow throughout many of these areas of the northeastern coast we'll be seeing this low pressure system kind of dipping down again here it is at 989 millibars still dropping which is why it is a bomb cyclone and this snow is going to be intensifying as it drops we'll have blizzard conditions for green bay blizzard conditions for duluth a uh, blizzard condition throughout many areas of all the way to west or eastern north dakota as we get now into the next 54 hours, which is still Sunday, we'll be seeing the snow entering areas of a uh, northeastern part of Pennsylvania. We'll have that snow entering Hartford. We'll have uh, so, some snow for Syracuse and Albany. And this will all be provided by this kind of, uh, you know, lake effect snow with uh, this, obviously, Ezekiel. And then as we get now into the next 66 hours, this is all new. 
We're going to be seeing possibly blizzard conditions for Boston. We can have that snow still hanging out for Burlington, Vermont, and the New England area. And as we get now to Monday, it is still going to be hanging out right here. Uh, possibly just stalling out there, 988 millibars straight off the coast, which would bring some snow for State College. Allentown, Harrisburg will possibly kind of prevent or kind of avoid this. Pittsburgh, Albany will really get some very heavy snow. Wow, that snow, very, very light snow for uh, New York at this point. But as we get now into the third, it's still hanging out here throughout these areas in the northeast. Bring snow for Hartford, Albany, Concord, Massachusetts, uh, Provi Providence. Um, and then it should be gone out by the, the third or the, uh, the fourth. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be quite a long-lasting storm, as you can tell, but it's going to be a massive one. So now we're looking at the NAN 3 km model, and let's like try to like just get onto the big part of the storm. So as we get the next 16 hours, it's when it's a massive storm again, bringing snow from Minneapolis. Going to bring the very heavy snow throughout areas of central and western South Dakota. We'll have the blizzard conditions throughout areas near the Yellowstone National Park. Uh, areas into Wyoming uh, as we get now into the next 20 hours. That's where we'll see the heaviest snow throughout areas of southern North Dakota and northwestern South Dakota. This could be possibly maybe three inches per hour. That's how heavy this is. Again, it's a bomb cyclone. We'll have this low pressure zone kind of just dropping and dropping and dropping. Here it is at 987 millibars, still dropping, which is again why it is kind of dipping like this. Because it is intensifying and getting a bit more strength. We'll be pushing it a bit more north. So that's kind of what we have that dent there. Again, that's where we'll have the blizzard condition starting to enter Duluth. Have that heavier snow just south of Bismarck. And then as we now get closer into when it gets into the Midwest, it will start to bring that snow uh, to the northeast, of course. Here we'll have the ice threat right here through Harrisburg and Allentown before all the snow. And then right here, near areas near Erie and Buffalo, we'll start to see a very heavy rain-snow mix before all the snow gets in. And then we'll have this other snow, uh, again, blizzard condition from Marquette. Uh, Eau Claire should be in the clear by, clearing by this time. And then as we get closer into now it's Sunday, this is when the snow starts to enter areas into the northeast. And Providence, um, Providence sorry, Hartford, Albany, looks like we'll have an ice mix uh, for New York and New areas in northern New Jersey, so they'll kind of miss the snow a little bit, and then by all the way to the next 60 hours is how far it goes. It'll bring that snow right here throughout many years in the New England area. So again, so far it's looking like New or New York, New Jersey won't be seeing that much snow uh, for the first part of the snowstorm. But now we'll be looking at the um, snowfall totals. So this is all new again. Uh, so again, this is all right. This is all from Ezekiel. This bomb cyclone and huge blizzard. So again, we're gonna be seeing about another four feet of snow out here through y uh, Yosemite and uh, areas at Lake Tahoe. We're gonna be seeing up to two feet left for areas of north central uh, areas of Utah and also from North Flagstaff and Prescott. We'll be seeing again seven to ten inches near Yellowstone National Park. Uh, another four to six inches left for billings this is where it gets a little bit worse again as we go on the low pressure system kind of drops a lot more which means it can intensify a lot more and that's why we have huge snowfall totals left uh looks like areas into central south dakota can be seeing up to 16 to 19 inches of snowfall northwestern uh, nebraska it's up to 13 inches of snow looks like areas out here near bismarck can reach up to possibly eight to ten inches of snowfall uh, areas right here into uh, eastern uh, North Dakota up to 9 to 12 inches. Um, and as, now as we get to Sioux, uh, Sioux Falls, again, 2 to 3 inches. As we get closer to Minneapolis, that's when we get a lot of snowfall, actually. Quite a bit surprising as they weren't in the blue that much for the snow. Uh, up to possibly 7 to 8 inches. Rochester, going to be seeing about 4 to 5. This is where it's, again, surprising right here where we had the blizzard conditions. Without a doubt, Duluth will be getting up to 17 inches of snowfall. Eau Claire up to 9 to a foot uh, additional. They still have snow on the ground from uh, Dorothy. Oh, we'll have up to 11 to a foot of snow for Green Bay, uh, about 3 to 5 inches for Madison, Wisconsin. Nothing much for uh, areas out there into the uh, Milwaukee area. This is what's also really, really big uh, concern right here. Up to 15 inches for areas uh, near Albany, up to 20 inches for areas into western Massachusetts. Boston can see up to 12 to 14 inches of snowfall for their first snow of the year, which is crazy. Concord up to 14 inches, and in southern Vermont to, to about 17 inches. For once, Maine won't be seeing the most of the amount of snow. 
looks like northern New Jersey can be seeing, depends, if you're in far north New Jersey, you'll be seeing about 7 to a foot, 7 inches to a foot of snow. Syracuse can be seeing 7 to 8 inches. Areas near State College up to 3 to 4 inches. Areas of northeastern uh, Pennsylvania up to 9 to a foot of snow. And Allentown up to maybe 3 to 4 inches. Again, they'll be missing out a little bit on this. And the areas that provide 10 inches and 14 inches out here through the areas of um, uh, areas into Connecticut. Now we'll be looking at the snowfall uh, through the GFS. Uh, we're going to be seeing up to a, a good amount of snow actually for these areas up to 15 inches. Again, for areas of wet of uh, eastern North Dakota, about a good 17 inches out here through north central South Dakota. Again, as we get closer to Green Bay, that's when we will be seeing a bit more snow to 16 inches of snowfall based on this. Uh, we will see about again six to seven inches now for Minneapolis, a bit less for Rochester, a bit more snow for again Duluth, 14 to 16 inches. Marquette, another foot of snow. Uh, areas into Muskegon up to three to five inches. This snow will actually stretch all, stretch all the way from the Appalachians. Again, it looks like now State College can see a lot more snow to six to five or uh, five to six inches out here through the GFS. Looks like uh, Syracuse now will be seeing actually quite a bit of snow up to. Not up, up to 18 inches near Syracuse based on this um, this model on the GFS. 15 inches to about a foot of snow throughout Albany. Looks like uh, areas near New York City can be seeing actually just missing out maybe 3 to 4 inches out here. Just to be just south of this area for feet of snow. Again, areas near Providence can be seeing to a foot of snow. Boston showing a bit less snow than the European up to 10 to 11 inches of snowfall, not yet reaching a foot of snow based on this. And then again, much of areas near southern and near Concord will be seeing up to 16 inches. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is very complicated. Snow, so wow, it's just a lot to cover. So yeah, uh, this video is a bit long because again, with all these new updates, I was showing the extra radar. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will maybe see, I might post another, oh, I am going to post another video on this bomb cyclone. Uh, when once the new GFS comes out. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye guys.